my name is Laurel Wilma Nanup and I'm a um, printmaker by trade. But my mum ran away from there when I was born and um, to hide me from the government or whoever was in charge of the place, she shoved me under the seat in the train carriage, you know, and hoped, uh, hoped that I did, wouldn't cry. <laughs> so we went to Pinjarra and she met up with Dad, with Dad Peter, and yeah, we lived together on the reserve. I was taken from my parents when I was about eight years old and from Pinjarra. Um, I was sent to Wandering Mission and um, me and my sister. That's the car we went with in, welfare car, me and my sister. Yeah. And even today I still don't remember the journey from from Pinjara down to the mission. My sister said, oh, we stopped downtown and the lady bought us ice cream. I said, oh, I don't even remember that. My artwork, I like to do, tell stories, tell stories of my life, of things, ha what happened and, um, yeah, in my work, my artwork. That's what I usually like to do, or places I've been. Yeah. Mm. yeah. This one here is about a dream um, about I was walking along this road and coming towards me was this man and um, anyway he got um, really, really close and he looked at me and he said to me, what road are you going to take? And, and it was a time where I wanted to chuck my um, studies in. You know, I didn't want to do any more art at the curtain. And anyway, when I woke up, I was breathing heavy, and I said, oh, the next day I thought, oh, that, must, that must have been my old granddad telling me, now, girl, you finished off, you started. So I went on, and I got the most outstanding student at curtain uni. <laughs> <laughs> mm. This this one here, this this picture is um about when we lived in the bush um out from Mangera. Um and my my uncle and, and went to town my uncles went to town one day and got these lorries and anyway on on the way back they decorated this little tree and um, they came back to the camp and said come on kids up in the cart something we've got to show you so we all up in the cart and they took us and we looked and there was this little tree decorated with all the lollies <laughs> we thought it was great anyway but they found this lolly tree Mum's very humble about her art practice, and whereas I'm, I'm, I think I'm that gentle hand behind you all the time, maybe pushing you a bit too fast, eh? Sometimes, yeah, but. Get up and do some art. <laughs> but um, no, but it's um, mum's mum's creating uh, a, a kind of a what is it a um, a body of artwork which is going to be a legacy for for not only this is the thing not only Noongar people but for for all Australian communities, you know, um, and I think, you know, you're, and I keep on, I keep on saying to her that, you know, there's no one who who does artwork like like you, you know, and you, there isn't, mm. you know, you're, you're so unique, and, mm. but I suppose the beautiful thing, 
about what mum does through her, through her art is she remembers the stories of, of growing up in the bush with Nana and Pop. Um, does that art healing stuff through her illustrations. Um, shows uh, our Noongar people the beauty of our culture, but also you, you teach myself and Lily um, about art and about our Noongar life and stories through, through, through your, through your, your prints. Mm.